diphtheria is caused by a bacterium called Carinobacterium diphtheriae. It spreads via aerosols or skin shedding, and it is the exotoxin that diphtheria bacilli produce that causes the damage. The toxin is an exotoxin that inhibits protein synthesis, and this results in cellular necrosis and inflammation. Fortunately, cases of diphtheria are extremely rare because vaccination is effective and this causes an antibody reaction against the toxin. Diphtheria infection can result in asymptomatic carriers, local effects and or systemic effects. Local effects are usually due to inflammation of the pharynx, nasopharynx, tonsils, trachea and lower airways and the esophagus can also be affected. Diphtheria can also result in infection of damaged skin, for example skin that has been burnt or abraded and it has also been a problem in war wounds for example. Systemic effects include necrosis of myocardial fibres, cranial nerves, peripheral nerves producing a neuropathy, and diphtheria toxin can cause necrosis of parenchymal cells of the liver, kidney and adrenals. Grossly and histologically, the striking changes seen with diphtheria are the production of the so-called diphtheritic membrane. This is caused by necrosis and acute inflammation of the mucosa and a fibrinopurulent exudate producing this pseudomembrane. This is a low power view of a bronchus that has been damaged by diphtheria toxin and this has produced a diphtheritic membrane and this is the reddish ring you can see towards the left of the picture. Beneath the membrane the submucosa is edematous and acutely inflamed and also congested. On higher power you can see that the membrane is composed of fibrin and this is mixed with an acute inflammatory exudate producing this pseudo-membrane. 